Y'all bear with me. I'm doing it from my phone again. Size so getting down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got my backup, but I don't know how good that's going to be. That's why I'm going to do it from the um, iPhone, which is cool. Because you already know the situation. I think I probably need a new mic. I'm not sure, but I'll figure that out later on. I just basically want to do a short um, synopsis of the topic of praise and worship. And I feel I got to um, go back over the topic because um, I, I feel I didn't stress some points. And matter of fact, I'm going to title this one, The Order of Praise. Okay, and um, I probably re-upload the old video, uh, old video that I did by myself, and it's gonna be don't it's gonna be all audio. Ain't gonna have no image, so don't flip out over it. Don't trip out. It's still the same topic. It's still me, Shamia Allah, Elder Shamia Allah, because I'm of that age. Okay, but um, and I've been around a long time, in the truth, a long time since since my youth. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Let's go. Um, I'm gonna start off with um. And, and 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 I gotta say this: proving hip hop or rap music is satanic. So that's my whole basis of this, because it's it's um, pervasive and it's, and it's 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 a current snare and it's gonna be a snare to the remnant when we when we get out of here. Okay, most I will, right? We, you know, that's what I'm saying, including myself. Okay, but because um, they took on that spirit and while that happening. Certain people' behavior acted in a worldly manner because that's where that come from. The whole element of um, uh, rap, and it's rebellious music. It's rebellious. It's a rebellious uh, honor or worship. The Most High don't honor that, and that's the biggest snare and deception in the, amongst the remnant of Yasha Allah. And it's important because this is part of the cleanup process to getting that word out. And I'm going to reinforce it and, and stress it. Because it's, I don't see too many anybody else doing it, and it's necessary because um, not only is it worldly uh, matter, it, it came over in certain Passovers. I ain't gonna mention no names. Y'all already know who it is. If you follow, if you don't, you can follow my Rumble account. It's called K Seven His. Um, you already know I'm on BitChute. That's like one of one of my main channels besides Facebook, but that's one of my main channels. BitChute.com K Sham Seven. And most high will it be on my YouTube channel, which is uh, called His, which is an acronym for Hebrew Israelite Sanctuary. I hated to do all that. Nah, I had to do that. But anyway, going to the uh, going to the uh, main uh, meat of the matter of this topic, <laughs> or the main points of this topic. Let's, it starts and in, uh, in a heavenly place, right? Um, the most high had an issue with Job. So these is one of the things he questioned Job. And it tells you a time and a place before um I don't know if it, I, I don't know if I can say before creation, but it's showing you a time where it happened. It was in heaven in a, in a spirit world. Okay? Remember the topic is the order of praise. Okay? So with that being said, um, bear with me one second. Uh, uh, let's see, I want to check something out. And, um, and y'all got to end the, uh, I could quote it, but I still want to get the precept because y'all all know it's in, um, uh, oh yeah. it's in, uh, I think it's uh, First Samuel or Second Samuel. It's in the book of Samuel, I know that. And uh, uh, man, it's been so wild. Uh, uh, I should do it on top of head, but it's kind of um, kind of embarrassing at this point. Uh, but it's in the book of so I'll quote it. I don't really got it. It's the book of Samuel. I think it's in First Samuel. And uh, yeah, it's in First Samuel because that's when he tells the story. And uh, oh man, I can't even remember. Can't even remember. Uh, I suppose. Uh, anyway, I I quote it because y'all know it. Y'all find it. Y'all find. I'll find it later. It's in the book of Sam. Y'all know what I what I'm referring to because the scriptures say rebellion is as witchcraft. That part, that precept, right? 
So that's in the book of Samuel. And this Bible's still new, so that's probably why I couldn't find it right away. But, but that's, you know, it's in the book of Samuel. So um, let's go to Job, though. It's supposed to be a short lesson, because like I said, I'm going to upload the original, Most High Well. Right? Most High Well, uh, up upload the original. And, uh, what is it, Job? Yeah, it's, this is like, tells you the time and place where this thing happened in the Most High. It's questioning Job, because Job thought he was the, uh, all, a bow or all know it all. Right, so matter of fact, why y'all here watching? Let's give y'all a sample of um, trying to find a good play, a good song. Y'all remember that, right? That's a whole one. Y'all remember that? <laughs> Look at that. You know what? Let me go back. Yeah, that's that's it. It's saying this. Let me go back to that one. That's alright. Alright, that's enough for that commercial. Right? Uh it's Job 38. Job 38 chapter, and we're going to start at the first verse. And uh, it reads like this, it's, uh, like, uh, according to the scripture. Job 38 and 1. Then Yahweh answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Who is this that darkeneth counsel by words without knowledge? Gird up now. He questioned Job. He said, Gird up now thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee an answer. And answer thou me. Where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Declare if thou has understanding. This is what he questioned Job. Job didn't know the answer to this. And guess what? It's a lot of people this day don't know the answer to this. Only, only brothers that um uh I remember the brother Yeshia who came who came with um mind me of his class of uh dealing with earth and creation. And he like did a better version of my class of flat earth or whatever, but he gave he he when he knew the pillars of the names of the pillars and everything. So it was a good class. You gotta check it out on it's on our House of Davis channel. Um He said, Where where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? Declare if thou hast understanding. Who have laid the measures thereof if thou knowest? Or who have stretched the line upon it? Whereupon are the foundations thereof fastened? So he questioned Job all these questions. Job can't answer. Or who laid the cornerstone thereof? Seven verse. This is where I, this is the, this is this is my um lesson. When the morning stars sang together. And all the sons of the Most High shouted for joy. That's the question he asked in Job. He said, when the morning stars sang together. Why did he say that? Because why? Who's the morning stars? Who's known as the morning stars? Because when you read Isaiah 14 chapter, that's referring to Satan. And there's other precepts, because I put mentioned in the first lesson, referring to Satan. But then... Who else? Yahusha is a morning star. Satan was the older brother. Yahusha was the younger brother. But Satan, but Yahusha represented righteousness, and Satan you know, represented evil. But once he fell from his righteous state, uh, I did a. It's a class on my channel on a YouTube channel. Here's that tell you about the morning stars. I go into that. It's like a half hour just on that topic alone. Right. So. He said, when the morning stars sang together, to showing you the order of praise. He said, sang together, and all the sons of the Most High shouted for joy. Why did he say that? Because who vibration is over the earth right now? Uh, evil vibrations over earth. 
Satan vibrations over the earth. And what did Satan do in the last days? He created something total, total against the order of the Most High Praise. He created rap music, hip hop. It's total rebellion at his finest. He put out his best for life. And that was rap and hip hop music. Because the Most High, Satan knew the Most High required the same. Because Satan, at one time, when he was in righteousness before he fell, he sang with Yahweh Shah. So he knew the order of praise. He understood the order of praise. So what he do? He said, I'm gonna go now that I, that I you know I fell for my rights that I represent. Now my job is to do everything opposite and to rebel against the most high. You see? And that's a carries a vibration all through the earth. And it's been carrying that vibration since it was incorporated into the music. To it was brought into the music, to it merged into the music. When we know it as hip hop and rap music. It didn't stop there. It went into truth music. They call it a truth music. Everybody hip hop and they dress. I just seen a video on, I think it was on Instagram. Or YouTube, I forget where. And I seen, I think it was in the main feed. I think it was, I forget exactly. I think it was either YouTube or Instagram. One of them. Could have been YouTube. And I seen a brother. Whirly looking, hair and twist. Not braids. And braids is off too. Not braids, not um lock dreads. It was twists. I said, damn. Mm -hmm. I've seen a girl's dress. My, my sister used to have twists like that when she was little. You know, I said, damn. But you 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 in the midst and you you and I ain't gonna say no names of the camp, because y'all know who y'all are. Y'all probably hear this message too. That's why uh Paul most um most I had Paul say in the spirit of truth to, to, to the, the men back then, and when we was you know dealing with the Romans, to cut your head. Because they knew that came from the Edomites, that feminine vibration. That's why it reads the way it reads in 1 Corinthians 6 and 9, and all those precepts. Why it says that. You can't be, you, yeah, 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 that's why he said cut the head. Because that carry, what you wear and what you, how you present yourself carry a vibration. Just like when, when Jake out there, and you know, out there wearing his pants sagging, it carries a vibration. Even though it came from prison, it carries a vibration. It's a sodomite vibration. It's an effeminate vibration. It's a punk vibration. Okay, but it's the same thing when you when you wearing long hair, long braids, your hair longer than your ribs. Come on, baby. It, 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 it's crazy. Y'all all up in the camps like, like, come on, man. How's the world going to know the difference? They said, well, they doing the same thing, same music we do it. So what's the difference? But I'm showing you the problem as far as the praise right now and everything else. But mainly that praise, too, I'm focusing on. Because what? It's rebellion. And, I'm, and stop thinking the most high likes that. He don't. That's why it's a cleanup process that's starting on this side. And it's going to go over when we're in the wilderness. It's going to continue. You're not waltzing up in the land of Israel like that. For to make men warriors, he got to get your spirit right. It's already recorded in the book of Ezekiel. That's prophecy. 36th chapter. You read it when you get a chance. It's a cleanup process. It's not going to stop. It's just the beginning process on this side. It continues when we out of this land. Because you have to file yourself in with that horrible uh, uh, music and the order of it. It's okay for the world to do it, but we're not supposed to be doing that vibration. Okay? When I don't hear singing, you know, like, I heard it one time, like, you know, one of the Passops. But come on. Y'all got to continue that praise and honor the Most High. It's not about you. It's about the Most High. He's giving him his honor and praise. We're his creation. We're the clay. He's the creator. He's the potter. Okay? So it says, from there I'm going to go jump to uh, Joe 1 and 1, 1, first chapter. And I'm going to expound on that a little bit more. Joe, first chapter and the sixth verse. It says, now there was a day when the sons of the Most High came to present themselves before Yahweh, And Satan, Shatan, came also among them. And Yahweh said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered Yahweh and said, From going to and fro in the earth, 
and from walking up and down in it. And Yahweh said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright, upright man, one that feareth the Most High and escheweth evil? All right? So y'all know that story. Then Satan answered Yahweh and said, Do Job fear Yahweh for naught? Has, thou, has not thou made a, he a hedge ar about him and about his house and about all that he have on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. But put, put, but put forth thine hand now, and touch all that he have, and he will curse thee to thy face. And Yahweh said unto Satan, Behold, all that, all that he have is in thy power. So y'all know the story, but I'm going to go back to the sixth verse. It says, Now there was a day when the sons of the Most High came to present themselves, before Yahweh and Satan came also among them. Right? So the main two sons, uh, they were talking about the sons of Yahweh, Yahweh uh, Shai and all the angels, and Satan was there too. So they all had a job. They all had a job to protect Job. But going back, showing you that what? Uh, Satan still serving the subject to the Most High, even in his wicked state in his evil state now, which he's in now. And he had the earth ever since Adam fell from his righteous state. So just give you a summarization, right? Now go and read the seventh verse again. It said, when the morning stars sang together and all the sons of the Most High shouted for joy, that's, he said, when, when, he said, when, when the morning, he said, um, where upon all the foundations they are fastened, or who laid the cornerstone thereof? When the morning stars sang together, and all the sons of the Most High shouted for joy. Another, he's saying, where you was at, Job, when, it, when this was going on? Showing you how far back it went, because this was before Satan fell. Matter of fact, this was before, uh, it was even um, before Adam fell, because it was way before that. Because what proved that, what? The whole point of Adam falling, Satan was already um, cast down. When you read about the trees, this is how you know it was prior, way before that, before, you know, uh, uh, Adam uh, sent, before Adam sinned. This is how you know. When you read uh, 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 the, um, about the trees, because the tree of life was Yahweh And how do you know when Yahweh when Adam fell, Yahweh set angels on his right and his left with flaming swords. Meaning you can't come around me no more. You no more can learn and, and, and fit, uh, get this spiritual food. Because he was instructing Adam when he was in his right state. So when he fell, he was subject. Who, who took um, stewardship? Satan. So it's showing you what, uh, what happened at this time. This was before, and this is the most high referring to Satan before he fell to his, uh, before he sinned and before he fell out of his righteous state. Okay. So let's go to, um, from there, let's go to, um, like I said, this is going to be a, a short, a short lesson. Let's go to, uh, Psalms 22 and three. Psalms 22, Psalms 22 and 3. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. Who inhabitest the praises of Israel? The Most High. When you do righteousness, when you keep his law, statutes, commandments, when you do uh, apply the fruits of the Spirit, when you walk in that righteous state, he honors that vessel, not when you're sinning and being wicked and smoking and vaping and doing all this, uh, uh, you know, excess uh, hard liquor and excess hard liquor. And, you know, not when you just being a, a total rebel when you was a sinner. No, nah. because the only one who was having it in your vessel then was Satan. When you do hip hop and rap, guess who's had it happen to your vessel? 
Satan. He's like, yeah, keep that going. Even when you think you're doing a righteous rap, allegedly. Because why? He know that order is rebellion. That's why I'm, I'm, the scriptures say what it say, saying. You in, and and uh, matter of fact, it's a scripture that I get to uh, um, solidify this real quick. And you started saying, well, brother, that's not right. We we saying, we quoting, we saying your house shot name. We, we quoting scriptures in the whole nine. But I'm going to show you. All right? Going back to, to some notes real quick. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that's it. I got it. Ecclesiastes 3. Y'all know what it reads. Y'all know what those season brothers already know what I'm going to. <laughs> Everybody's been around as long as me. You know, already know the precept I'm going to. So I'm done. You could be in this less time. You could be a shopper. Because I seen that. And our brothers came in breezing pattern. No, because jillion precepts. <laughs> But still, brother, this is a snare to um, your, your 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 upliftment is still a snare. He wants you to sing, and that's important. You're going to find out real soon how important that is. And learning your language and the Hebrew is, because you had certain elders even mock that. It's already on my bit shoot. You already know what I'm talking about. I'm not giving no more uh, shout outs or <laughs> talk of names. Um but it's on my bit shoot channel, K Sham Seven. As a matter of fact, I recently uploaded it, so you can't miss it. Uh, well, but I'm, I'm like lost for a second. I'm talking. To, I'm not a good multitasker, as you can see. I said that a long time ago when I was doing my podcast. I am not, and I'm not joking. You can see that now, right? Uh, Ecclesiastes three and fifteen reads. That which have been is now, and that which is to be have already been. And Yahweh require, requireth that which is past. This was the most high required, that which is past. Meaning the, the way we did originally. And acquire um, came about through the tribe of Levi, which is no surprise. Because they were the priest tribe. Right? So, what's going to happen different? The most, You know what it reads in Revelation? He said he's going to make us, the whole nation, a nation of kings and priests. I think that's in Peter. And I think it's in Revelation. But I know it's in the book of Peter. So, this is why preparation of your spirit is important. But I'm going to read this precept in Psalms 22 and 3 one more time. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel, of Yasha Allah. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Yasha Allah. Our fathers trusted in thee, they trusted, and thou didst deliver them. They cried unto thee and were delivered. They trusted in thee and were not confounded. See? David, if anybody knew, David understood praise. Huh? They said that David praised the Most High seven times a day. So that means when he fought in wars, because you know he fought a lot of wars, he was praising and thanking the Most High constantly. And I can, I can see that and believe that because he was... A uh, man of war next to Yahawasha. <laughs> you know, David, that's what he did. That's why Solomon's name was peace, because he brought peace by the time Solomon took the throne. All his enemies was uh, already subject. But Solomon came with knowledge, what really made them, you know, respect them. But they, he already had the throne, had the respect through his father, King David already. He already had the respect. So that's why it means peace. His name means peace. 
All right, let's go from there real quick, Psalms. We're going to be in Psalms a little bit, and then I'm going to end it. I tell you, it's going to be a short class. Psalms 33. Psalms 33. Psalms 33, and we're going to start at the first verse. It reads, Rejoice in Yahweh, O ye righteous, for praise is comely for the upright. You see? Praise is comely, meaning praise is beautiful for the upright. Because we all know that's what the word comely means. For praise is comely for the upright. Second verse, praise Yahweh with the heart. Sing unto him with the psaltery and an instrument of ten strings. Third verse, sing unto him a new song. Play skillfully with a loud noise. For the word of Yahweh is right. And all his works are done in truth. Right? So, okay. He was specific on what instruments he wanted to hear. He ain't talking about no drum machine. He said no MIDI machine. That's a hard rude awakening. Ain't it? Big difference, right? You actually got to play an instrument. Your first instrument, though, is your voice. Remember that. Your first instrument is your voice. That's why he said sing. That's why we read that precept in Job. He said, sing first. How was I sing? Even Satan sang at one time before he fell from his, right, his a righteous state. He sang with Yahweh. Shah. So who are we? Come on, man. Psalms 96. Psalms 96. Psalms 96 and 1. Oh, sing unto Yahweh. A new song, sing unto Yahweh all the earth. Sing unto Yahweh, bless his name, show forth his salvation from day to day. Third verse. Declare his glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. So even the nations got to see us sing and praise the Most High. And that's going to happen. It should be happening now and it's going to continue. But it should happen on a better and broader scale in a righteous order. Now, what's the topic? The order of praise. Fourth verse. For Yahweh is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared among all powers. Because it says here, all gods. And that's correct. Because there's only one power, Yahshua. Notice. It's only one power, but Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. Nobody over, nobody, there's nothing higher. The scripture said even the demons, tri demons tremble when they sing Yahweh shout. Because he was what? Representative of 100% righteous in the earth. The scripture say where two or three are gathered in Yahweh Shah's name, he's in the midst. How about that? <laughs> Let's go one more. I'm going to end it. One, Psalms 106. Psalms 106. And 47. It reads. Save, save us, O Yahweh. Our power. And gather us from among the heathen. To give thanks unto thy holy name. And to triumph in thy praise. Blessed be Yahweh, the God of Israel. From everlasting to everlasting. And let all the people say. Amen. Praise ye Yahweh. So with that, I think I'm going to end it. I'm going to say Shalom. Stay in the spirit of truth and righteousness. Give the Most High his honor and praise. Learn to lift up your voice and sing unto him. Not break a rap out. <laughs> he wants you to sing, man. Uh, um, learn that Hebrew, the pure language. As a matter of fact, I gotta read that real quick before I end. I got I can't, I can't um, end it without stressing how important this is. That uh, y'all all know this one, but there's other precepts in apocrypha. Matter of fact, I should uh, get that. I don't think I let me. Um, what is it, Zephaniah? 
Remember what he said? Now, these are times we're in. The elders, um, um, uh, Masha, Arya, and I say particularly, um, yeah, elders Masha and Arya and the others, uh, the seven elders, and um, Masha, and um, even uh, continue that, even uh, um, the brother Karada Zala, the Hebrew teacher, he continued to um, push that in writing books in Hebrew, which is, this is how our language returned. It started with the elders at one west, and it continued. And the, uh, Zephaniah 3 and 9 reads what? For well, then will I turn to the, to the people a pure language, that they may all call upon the name of Yahweh to serve him with one consent. And that day is coming. And that day is coming. It started on this side. And it's going to continue when we're in the wilderness. Because by that time, everybody ain't going to, you know, the ones that is, he's going to purge, take scripture, tell you, going to purge out the rebels, the ones that don't want to cooperate. But this still the learning process we're in on this side. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom. All praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. Call Halal Yah. Rakah Kwadash Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. And Shalom. Have a blessed day, blessed week. Shalom. And most of all, a blessed life. Shalom.